All right, what are we doing today, Ben? Well, we're gonna do some radio stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to use radios later. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Josh KI6NAZ, and uh, my son and I, Ben, are going to build an antenna. I'm going to make a pretty simple dipole. I'm going to use this one-to-one uh, -one current ballon in between uh, relatively two short lengths of wire and then these chairs. And, you know, a big thing on my channel is experimentation and recommending people try things. And so, will it antenna? That's the question for today's video. Let's find out. So I think this is going to be pretty straightforward. The idea is simplicity here. Um, I'm going to center punch right here and I'm going to run a bolt all the way through. It looks like the aluminum seat connects to the back, connects to this rod. This is not for efficiency purposes, but this should work. So I'm just going to go in here. Yep, good little dent. So we got a hole for a bolt, now we just need to do it on the other side. Obviously on the other side of the seat, because it's a dipole. Is the camera still on? Yep. And you see, we're still making the, um, so... Okay, so, I don't have a lot of rhyme or reason with how I'm going to do this, and that's kind of the point. We're just going to try this out, make it work tuners will solve the problem in this case. So I've got some 10 gauge black wire. I'm just going to strip some of this off. What are you drinking? No. No? Oh man, I don't have my wire stripper. What does it do? We want to make the metal and the wire stay together for as long as possible and we use a crimping tool to do that. See? Now it's stuck. This little plastic will slide, but this metal's on there forever now, pretty much. So why? What's that? Why what? This is a wire. So what do we get? It's gonna be used to connect to our antenna. Yeah. Okay. And then we can use it to connect to the radio. And then to that tool. Uh, which tool? That tool. The drill. The drill? Yeah. We're done with the drill, I think, for now. So I'm gonna pull, uh, not a lot of rhyme or reason here either, I'm gonna pull four feet about of cable. Uh, and then I'm just gonna cut so an equal this? length. That's what it. This? That's cord, cordage. What is this? Go so ahead and strip the end, this goes to the ballon. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and make our matching wire. So I'm ready, the outlet is watching us right now. No. No, they're closed. No, they're watching us right now. No, they're closed. <laughs> no, I meant at the house. No. Can you use this chair? All right, I'm going to connect each leg to the sides of my ballon. Let's do it. Okay. So. We have basically the first half or most of a dipole. This wire is going to act as uh, a part of a radiating element. Uh, but what I will do is I will actually test this as is on if there's any SWR change on different bands. And then I will do uh, connecting it to the, the actual chairs and we'll test that. Real dirty dipole is just hanging uh, off of the umbrella. This is going to be a horrible match. This is expected to be a bad match. What I want to do is see where, if at all, it's resonant and what the relative SWR is. So I'm going to start with six meters. And it is somewhere like five to one right now. Somewhere between four and ten. Now, so that could be eight. Let's go to ten. That's 10 to 1 now. So it's it's way off. Obviously 20 is going to be 10 to 1 as well. Ideally we want to use this on 20 meters though. So we're going to attach the chairs and then we're going to get it up on the eaves of the house. 
and we will try and connect a radio and tune it. Do I know what happened if I shot a burrito? Yeah. Burrito explosion? Yeah. That one? Hmm? This one? No. I'm gonna play my got A. Can I play my got A? Yeah, hold on. Stick on the couch. Hold on, yeah. Okay. We got a boy play my got A. This is not what the antenna. Is this what the antenna was supposed to look like? No, you're gonna put the chairs up. I'm gonna put those chairs up there. Yep. Okay, so I, I took an initial scan, and uh, oddly enough, we get about a three to one. So yeah, after a bit of a smaller check, it's a uh, three to one on 3.673. Let's see if we can do a little bit better, hop around a bit. So initial assessment is what we'd expect. It's just bad <laughs> across the board on all bands. But why don't we, uh, why don't we get the 7300 and that MFJ on it. Um, by the way, this video was partially inspired by my jokingly saying that the MFJ tuner will tune uh, lawn chairs. So I've really brought this on myself. All right. Are you as excited as I am? This could get interesting. Okay, let's power it on. Okay, sounds pretty bad. Let's give her a tune. Tune it up, one to five. 1 1.5 to one. Oh man. 14 looks pretty bad though, so let's, let's go to 40. And back. Let's get him on the battery. Let's change this off and put it on a battery. Oh, I got plenty of uh, FT8. Let's try 80. So that tuned up real fast. The bands are pretty bad. Just have to crank the reference just to get anything out of it. We got another FT8. FT8's all over the place today. Well, so far we've gone through all the bands and it tunes everything we've thrown at it, so that's that's good. Um, oh, something's over here. Something digital. Obviously that's outside of the transmission area for amateurs. Really high noise floor. <laughs> Go figure. Had a bit of a problem. The one of the chairs was touching my stucco wall on my house. Once I moved that, cleared it up. So we got these little weird uh, scan line effect thing. I'm not sure what that is. 
FT8 like a champ, though. Let's go up a little bit. All right, somebody. S6. Or uh, bars along the length of it, or spirals, or something like that to make it. I can't believe it. To make it, um, you know, even though it's, you know, a, a, a true 40 meter dipole would be, oh my, it'd be 65. That's ridiculous. This guy must be really close. So they, they've uh, electrically shortened it in some manner, so. KR7RR, this is Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. So briefly, I <laughs> put WSJTX on and I've already got some contacts, man. This is crazy. This is crazy. Twenty-five watts. Oh my gosh. K seven O gave me a negative six and I'm getting him at a plus five right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Let's see if we can wrap up this contact. Yeah, we can. <laughs> You're kidding me. You're kidding me. <laughs> what the heck, man? What the heck? So what did we learn today? Well, we learned that my oldest son really enjoys Power Rangers more than helping dad out in the backyard build an antenna. Uh, other than that, the <laughs> folding chair dipole, you notice one was a little bit larger than the other, so maybe it's an off-center fed uh, folding chair dipole. It, it's, a, it's not a good antenna, right? In no way is it a good antenna, yet it still was able to receive, I was able to receive a pretty strong signal coming in from Arizona, and I heard some local traffic on 20. Um, Transmit wise, I was able to make some contacts on FT8. My longest contact being to Montana. My shortest contact actually uh, maybe three or four blocks from me. So not bad on the ground wave or, or perhaps I was getting a little envis off of it. Uh, the point of this video, these series of videos, whatever I end up doing with this, is not to say, hey, build these antennas, they work really well. No, it's to foster an, an idea that you experiment within amateur radio. Uh, yes, you have to be safe. Yes, you should do practical things that make sense and you know, you should always follow guidelines and etc, etc. But at the same time, don't stop from trying things. Don't stop from building antennas and trying things out. It's not going to be effective, but you're going to learn a lot. And then when you want to up, start building up or you will build up into building efficient antennas, you know, a properly cut dipole, very effective thing to do if you're starting out on HF you're going to be able to apply these to that and you'll have a great time with it. So please get out there, experiment. Don't let anybody make you feel like you got to do things a certain way. Just be safe, right? And there's lots of ways to do that. If you have any questions and want to know how to do that, post in the comments below. Join our Facebook group, the Ham Radio Crash Course on Facebook and our Discord. There's always somebody online, if not me, to answer questions that come up and this kind of stuff. I really appreciate you watching the show here. Give me a thumbs up if you can and subscribe. And if you would like me to build an antenna out of something, please give me something that's at least some kind of metal that I can make something out of. Post it below and I'll add it to my list. Okay, guys? I'll talk to you later. See ya.